If you're looking for a stacked GTA 5 or Red Dead Online account, look no further than Crispy Mods, link will be in the description, as well as they offer some great modding tools to help get you started. What's up guys, it's Jayco and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about some concerns I have for GTA 6 Online or whatever it's going to be really and some concerns I have of it because of where GTA 5 Online is at right now. Now I'd like to mention, I'm not a Rockstar employee, I have no idea what GTA 6 is gonna be, nor does anyone else other than probably the Rockstar employees. So what I will be talking about is purely conceptual, no leaks, no, no, no fake news, no nothing like that. This is purely just ideas and conceptualizing what GTA 6 could possibly be in its online game mode or whatever they potentially have in the future. Over the span of nine years from October 1st, 2013 to really now, August of 2022, we've become this little tiny person, this little gangster sort of thing doing some street crimes and store holdups to this major massive criminal enterprise empire owner where we have hundreds of millions of upon millions of dollars we have every car we could possibly imagine every business and that sort of thing you know you probably are probably one of the people i'm talking about but you'd also be a new player and not really potentially have any of those things but what i'm saying is over the course of nine years we've gotten some really cool businesses and we've earned lots of lots of money through some of these really really cool businesses in gta online over the course of nine years now why I brought this up is because GTA 6 Online, where are we going to start at really? Are we going to have some of these businesses? Are we going to have some of these heists? Are we going to have the KO Perico and have a, a great meta way to make money solo and not need to do any other business or any other activity in the game? Oh, well, just buy a submarine and do the KO Perico. Well, obviously it's not going to be the KO Perico, but is there going to be that solo heist or something that we'll be able to do by ourselves and just make tens of millions upon hundreds of millions of dollars just you know just for fun just because it's the easiest way and not have to worry about any other business if you've been looking for a gta online rp server then look no further than grand rp they have truly one of the best open free servers on the market whether you're brand new or a veteran go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description click that referral link and register now and entering grand now as a promo code will earn you an extra twenty five thousand dollars of in-game money to start your brand new gta rp life thanks again grand rp for the sponsor and let's hop right into it now i really don't think that rockstar would probably give us all the businesses that we have right now in gta 5 online because then it's just like oh it's just gta 5 but in a, in a different map <laughs> you know maybe a little bit of different gameplay different cars and stuff obviously hopefully no oppressor mark twos and that shit flying around day one could you imagine if oppressors were available day one or a vehicle like the oppressor that would that would be that would be mind-blowing and quite very disappointing honestly but really what i'm wondering and you know let you, let me hear your guys' thoughts now below in the comments where are we going to start in gta 6 online and where i would like to start in gta 6 online because honestly i think it'd be really cool if we had some of the businesses available like maybe some drug businesses or maybe some potential store holdups or small bank jobs that we could do i think that'd be kind of cool to start with or maybe just you know or even have a road map like within a year or two I could think I think I could go a year or two without major major heists but have little holdups make a few bands here and there but I think starting out with some drug related stuff like oh you meet a guy an NPC or whatever he's a friend of yours you bring him supplies he makes you drugs and then you sell it for like little ounces or like a kilo at a time or something very very small you know kind of drug deals and alleyways to potential face-to-face -face customers and then over time we could make these big super drug labs and then sell like by truckloads and truckloads at a time i think that'd be really cool and i think a concept like red dead online's role system d d no matter if you hated red dead online or not or loved it whatever the, the role system was awesome you could truly immerse yourself within the role that you were doing in the world of red dead online whether it be collector or bounty hunter and you were able to progress that thing by itself like over the time if you're a trader which we'd sell the animal parts you'd be able to sell bigger and bigger amounts of it you'd get more and more money and you know you could use a bigger wagon and that sort of thing it was cool i really hope that role system sort of thing is one of the major concepts that gta 6 uses from red dead online maybe at level one of a 
drug dealer role. You're selling very, very little amounts to face-to-face -face people in alleyways where you actually have to go physically go and deliver yourself. And then potentially at like level 20, you're selling harder and harder, more expensive drugs and you're producing them in major drug labs. And maybe you make that business passive where you hire someone else to deliver those business goods for you because with the role system, you know, you want to get big, bigger and better over time and you don't want to start with everything available to you if you have the money, which I think was a great idea that Red Dot Online did. Right now, GTA Online, if you were to buy a bunker, let's say, you have the potential to literally max out upgrading it the moment you walk through the door, and the moment you have that random cutscene with Agent 14, you have everything available to you if you have the money, of course. I think earning your way to the top of a certain role or business would be a great concept for GTA 6 Online as well, starting out as a small time drug dealer, doing face to face very, very small amounts of very, very cheap drugs, and then potentially becoming some major, major super drug lab, selling truckloads at a time, that sort of thing. And the same could go for like heisting, let's say. You could start out with small time banks in the sticks, sort of like Blaine County sort of robbery, and then maybe you can go on to bigger city bank jobs or bigger city casino jobs or something like that but obviously don't make the progression super long and super unbearable and read down the line some of those businesses were kind of long and took a really long time to level up but other businesses like the bounty hunter role the collector role were pretty pretty good at the progression that you got you could do it casually and level it up max it out within a week or two or you could grind it out and do it in a day or two it was really good how they balanced some of the progression in some of these roles in red dead online honestly and with the progression of these roles you got specific cosmetic items and weapons as well through the business or role that you were doing like in gta 6 in a drug dealer role maybe it'd be you get more money from a certain sale or get the ability to start using bulletproof cars or get the upgrade to use bulletproof windows or bulletproof tires in some of these cars you're using or have like uh, the ability to change license plates so the cops can't catch you or something like that make it so you immerse yourself in these roles that you're doing individually and then when you get onto the bigger and better things like heist for example you can have abilities to do that like maybe you get a bigger duffel bag or that you're more intimidating to the hostages that you have in the bank or that you're you know you get a bigger mag on the certain gun there's so many millions and millions of different ways that this role progression system could work and i think it could really work like it did in red dead online and how it was just just mwah, just beautiful and it just really immerse yourself in each and every role and have its own progression system and its own leveling system own cosmetic items weapons whatever i think it's a brilliant brilliant idea because after all if we wait 10 years 12 13 years whatever for gta 6 and then we're just given everything we have in gta 5 online all the cars <laughs> everything but you know a, a different map then we're just gonna be like okay then you know what was the point of waiting for this i have no money and yet there's still all these businesses and overwhelming crap all over the place that i have to do now i think with gta 6 we should start small time and slowly progress our way have some of the businesses you know have a, have the drug business maybe we don't start out with the bunker or the agency or the ceo office but we start out with you know small time drugs and then move on to heists and then we get some of those businesses but not over a five ten year span maybe like a two three four year span or you know maybe if you're progressing it fast enough then you can move on to the next role something like that you know obviously and they can test out some of the some of the roles in the progression system and to not make it too long and not make it too short you know obviously rockstar billion dollar company they could figure out a way i bet they could but yeah, that's really all I had to say. Of course, let me know your comments down below, your concerns for GTA 6, or something you're excited about for GTA 6. I know I've been making a few GTA 6 videos here and there. I don't always want to be doing that, but the leaks have recently gotten me really excited, and I, I truly do believe in the leaks. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to disagree with me. But I truly believe in them. After five years hearing the exact same leaks about it being a Vice City female protagonist, yada, 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 I feel more and more inclined to believe it every single day because after all, the thousands of people that have worked on it, someone has had to have spilled the beans. You know, at some point, someone's gotten fired or someone's gotten laid off or retired and someone would have had to spill the beans by now. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.